These are 10 steps how you can connect Medrix, a popular software, to our controller Reactivo. First thing to do is to purchase the controller on our eShop. Second step is to actually get the license for your Madrix software. We can only recommend it. It's a great generator for a lot of effects and in general there is a lot of fun playing with the software. Next step is to create your patch. Patch is basically a matrix that you are using or your LED fixture or your LED strip. As you can see above me, I am using an uh, LED screen which has 32 by 32 pixels, so in total 1024, and I'm using a single Reactivo controller to actually send the content. You'll go to, in order to create that patch or that matrix, into matrix generator, surprisingly, and there you will input the dimensions of your matrix. I have, as mentioned, 32 by 32 pixels. Once you have your patch created, you need to connect your device to the software. For that, you will need to go to Device Manager. In Preferences, you will find this setting. Since Reactivo is a ArtNet converter to SPI, you are looking for a ArtNet tab. There are two options how you can add the device into the software. You will either search for all the devices on the network or you will add it manually. We can hit search and once this is finished you will see a list of all the devices connected to your network. I do know that my controller, my Reactivo connected to my matrix has an IP address that ends with 186 so I can delete the remaining controllers and I am only left with my Reactivo controller. And as you can see, it is using seven ArtNet universes. It is important to hit enable for each group of universes. Once you've searched for your device, you'll go to DMX devices. Here you can see each universe individually. It is important to change the state from off to on. That you can do with a right click on each universe. Once we have this ready, we can go to a effect creation. In Madrix, this is pretty easy. You will only select uh, the effect and you will populate it with some nice generator. For example, color scroll. And that is basically it, how you can connect Reactivo to Madrix software. If you have any questions in regards to this or the controller, let us know.